Hey guys, Brennan here. Today we're going to go over the new captains and um, ships for the Italian Navy. Check out the new uh, paint mechanics too real quick. So we got uh, Luigi here. I'm just going to go over their new, uh, what I think is their new abilities and traits. Incoming damage to your cruiser reduction here. He's got your normal stuff here, burning down, beyond range, before it's too late, igniter, home run, torpedo range, that's pretty nice, more speed, this is the new one, subtle manipulations, makes your cruiser's AP shells hit harder, time to detonation of your cruiser's AP shells, minus 90%, so that's, um, you're not going to be overpenning all day long. Which is pretty nice. A little bit crappier gun grouping. Shell grouping. But we'll have to see how that works out. Fixated. Steer clear. So your new abilities here. Fully packed. It's going to give you that extra um, consumable charge. If you're within one and a half kilometers of an ally, your consumables are going to be loaded 30% faster. Refill station. Guns reload faster. If you buy an allied ship, you're going to be shooting 10% further, which is kind of crazy. It's already got beyond range. Alright, he looks like he might be the cruiser captain. So I already looked at these new cruiser guys. They got some uh, pretty insane range on their torpedoes. Inigo, I think that's his name. He's got Spartan. I should say Spartan Elite. That's okay. Damage to your ship. Reduction. Contact is imminent. Barely out of peril. Burn it down before it's too late. Crisscross, look at me now. Back in stock on second thought and Velocious. Smoke on the water. Reaching out, steer clear. If you're within three kilometers of an enemy, your damage control party minus 50%. Engine repair. Better heal. Amount of HP recovered 27.5%. Shorter duration. If you buy an allied ship, 1.5 kilometer. You're going to get more heal. And an, I think that's an auto, yeah, an auto repair when HP is equal to or less than 20%. <clears throat> I don't know if that's going to automatically use your charge or if that's just going to heal you. That'd be kind of cool. Fully packed, extra consumable, and they reload faster. We got this old man here. Reload time of battleship's main guns faster. Not the one for a nuisance, brawler. Crisscross, Porcupine, Artisan's Touch, Battleship's AP, Shell Penetration Multiplier, plus 2%. Time to Detonation of your Battleship's AP Shells, plus 10%. So lower chance to Citadel. Maybe if you're shooting something lightly armored, but... For a battleship. Eh, we'll have to see how that works out. On second thought, firefighter, reaching out, master mechanic. It's always a good option there. Well, the rebuild. We already saw that. Running with scissors, increases battleship AP shell damage. 
and AP shell damage, 15% if you're within 3 kilometers of an enemy. Oof. Okay. Francesco. Real time of cruiser's main guns reduction. Burn it down, ingenious. Here, sir. Before it's too late, full speed ahead. Faster ship, sponge. I'm not insane. Torpedo speed plus two knots. Detectability of your torpedoes minus 50 meters. Torpedo range minus 40%. Have to test that. Steer clear acoustic chamber. With the fully packed with the reload consumable if you're within an allied range. By the book incoming damage for your cruiser minus 20% if you're sitting with someone. I'm sure a lot of people are going to be using by the book now. <clears throat> Alright, so that's them. New ships. I can't pronounce half of these. More than half of them. So, Tier 1, they got the Nino. We're just going to go through these real quick and look at them. Artillery. Crap. Tier 2, 150mm guns, torpedoes, 4 kilometers. Tier 3, we're looking at 4x2, 152mm, 12% fire chance. Got two double torpedo launchers here. 8 kilometer range, 51 knots, kind of slow. 36 knots. Tier 4 is rocking 4x2, 150 millimeter guns. 7% chance to set on fire. 10 kilometer torps, guys, 51 knot speed. 55 second reload. So that's equal to the Japanese cruise there on range. Tier 5. 4 by 2, 203 millimeter guns with 14% chance to set on fire stock. That's pretty good. Maybe able to get that up to like 18 something. 12 kilometer. Torps, guys. 51 knots, they're slow. Reload time, 47 seconds. Slinging torps, okay? Slinging them. You're, you're launching your torps undetected. <laughs> 35 knots, she's, she's fast. Now they all got that hidden ability. So they're going to have good concealment. Zara. Working with 4x2, 203mm guns. 15% chance to set on fire. They do shoot kind of slow though. 2x3 torpedo launchers at a 71 second reload, 12 kilometers. And these things only got a 1 kilometer spotting range on them. Concealment 10 9. And the tier 7. 3 by 3, 203 mils. 15% chance to set on fire. 16 second reload. Torpedoes, 95 second reload, they got 2 by 4 quad launchers, 12 kilometer range, same speed, 11.4 detectability.
Yeah, sure shot, broad bunch and hidden. Let's go here real quick. Just have a little peek at the new uh, aroma. Scroll all the way through this. Have a look at her. That. Look at the zany air guns lined up in the middle there. I like that. She's a big girl. Look at those secondaries there. Oof. Like 152s. Got plenty of anti air guns. So you'll be able to put aiming mod on her, second battery mod. Steering gears, damage control party propulsion. Target acquisition. Secondary battery mod three. Main battery mod three. All right. Stats three by three, three hundred eighty one millimeter main battery, sixteen point eight kilometer base shooting range, reload time thirty seconds, fifty one hundred arm damage, uh, HE shells, twenty four percent chance of fire, twelve hundred AP damage. And yeah, those are 154 by 3 Feral 152 millimeter secondaries shooting AP. And she's got 1290 mils shooting high explosive. She's running at 30 knots, turning circle 810 meters. Rudder ship time 15.6 seconds. Detectability range by sea 15.2, by air 12.2. Smoke firing, 139. 65,000 HP, 13 to 380 millimeter armor, 38% reduction to torps. It's ironclad and tough. Hmm. Ships in the series 4. Do that. <laughs> yeah, that's starting the game. Alright, so the new paint stuff. The basic paints, you can melt them down. They get three paint cans or just paints. Permanent camouflage purchase. And then you gotta uh, melt. 25 of them to make the blueprint. I guess you're gonna call that. Or the actual scheme for it. Well, we might as well test it. I got a bunch of these ones. We're going to hold and make one of those base patterns. Okay, so to upgrade these is what you need the paints for. So you could slap that on right now, but it's going to be crappy. But if you want to upgrade it, that's what you're going to burn these for. 
get extra paints and then these special ones for each one you do you're going to get seven paints i'm glad i saved all these ugly sana ones i don't want We'll just test it right there. We'll do ten. Ching. So now I click on that. It shows available paint seventy. And you need hundred and fifty to upgrade that bad boy. Let's just do a couple more. We're gonna do them all. I'm not using these. Need a couple more. Whoops. Let's just do a couple of these. I need my shirt. Sure. I was just checking to see if that's just for Bismarck now. I mean, I'm going to be able to put this on there. Oh, I got fat fingers, guys. So this one has that. What camos do you have to use to get that though? How many camouflage can do not expire? I get that, okay. To see, I did a different one on Bismarck. I'm not gonna waste my paint to upgrade that, but yeah, it costs 150 to upgrade that. Improves its stat base, so it's gonna take quite a bit of these flags to make permanent ones. But I'm sure we'll all figure it out. We'll wait for some of the uh, bigger guys who have more stuff to uh, really test this out. All right, well, that's the new update, guys. I think we looked at everything. Um, I haven't seen nothing pop up, pop up yet for the Transformer stuff, so as soon as that comes out, I'm going to be grinding for that. We'll make a video on it. I'm sure some people interested in that want to see, see Megatron sitting on that front turret right there, you know. You know, everybody would enjoy that. Megatron sitting on Bismarck. I mean, a good old time. Alright guys, good luck on getting uh, the Italian ships in the crates, and um, I will catch you next time. If you like the video, consider that like, subscribe. Alright, peace.